<laughs> Hello, freak bitches. Can you imagine if your daughter was taking dancing lessons from Patrick Swayze? He's got that fucking silky mullet, and he's dancing and moving across the floor. And yeah. no, no guy does that unless he wants to fuck. Either he's fucking guys or he's fucking your daughter. <laughs> That's why he dances so good. Yeah, he's he likes moving to his fuck. hips around. He wants to let you know, this is how I fuck you. I fuck you to the music. <laughs> Spinning around. Salsa style. Staying alive. <laughs> Staying alive. Tight polyester ah, pants. Ah, ah. <laughs> Do you remember Saturday Night Fever? You remember when it came out where everybody yeah. wanted to go dancing? Uh, yeah. I was a little kid, but I remember. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden. Uh, <laughs> people, yeah. Everyone was dressing like them. What year did Saturday Night Fever come 77. out? 77. Was it? Yeah. So it was 10 With years the Bee Gees. old. Bee Gees. And I remember... Um, People just would st go dancing all the time now. <laughs> it's true. And they were wearing like the, all the open shirts. My aunts were living with us at the time. Oh, yeah. They moved from uh, New Jersey or Florida, wherever the fuck they were at the time. And I think they, uh, they they moved with us around that same time when I was 10. I think they? They, they went dancing. Were they fun ants? Yeah, they were nice. Look at this. Here it is. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Look at that shirt. Open I, shirt. Look at the hair. God, this, I never had hair like that. What a great album. It's amazing. The Bee Gees. The Bee Gees were incredible. Incredible. I wish we could play some of it on the podcast. Who, if you could yank. sing like that? And if you had his <laughs> cigarettes on, cigarette smoking, they were playing yeah. records. And it was all about going out and everybody would go dancing and occasionally knife fights. <laughs> <laughs> and that girl accidentally got that girl pregnant. Yeah. She was cute, but she wasn't as hot as the other girl. I remember when she dropped the condoms in it. I was like, what were those? Yeah. I didn't know what that Look was happening. He's looking at her. I can't believe how good she is. You want to give me lessons? <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, they're banging. She's not from his side of the track, so she really shouldn't be with him. And, you know, he's kind of flawed, and but he's got this special something, and he can really dance. He can dance. dance. He can you can really, really <laughs> dance, Tony. You can really. You think so? For real? Yeah, you can really dance. Uh, it was a simple just time. Dance. They just wanted to dance. No, yeah. one, no one does that anymore. I know. Just had love songs. There were so many love songs in the seventies. Just life in general was different. Yeah, came I mean, out of the Vietnam War and stuff. He just wanted to just chill out and love a little bit. Well, as we're getting overwhelmed with data and information, this becomes more and more ridiculous. You look at like a, making a movie exactly like this today, and you could make one of those like well, step on up dance movies, La La Land. But those movies are stupid. La like, La Land. But well, I don't know what that is. That's the one that almost won the award. Yeah, Academy it was award. a it was a big hit this year, and it was uh, a musical, and there was a lot of dancing. Mm. Well, did you see it? I did. How dare you? I've got, I live with, with girls. I live with girls. Five we, we, of the theater queens. We weren't in the theater. We were watching it at home. <laughs> I got the screener, and oh. my kids wanted to see it. I didn't really enjoy it. Well, you listen. It's an anomaly. I was, I an was anomaly. fighting a raccoon while they were while they were watching it. I was fighting a raccoon in the face. Oh wow. <laughs> it's a rough night. It's just, uh, but it was, a, but it was kind of this. It was kind of dancing and la la la. What I'm saying is, this is a dumb movie. And if you <laughs> wanted to make this dumb movie today, it wouldn't be so interesting. It would be silly. You'd be like, this is so silly. Yeah. But now that people, we Things, know more about how people are. Uh huh. You know, it's just it's and all different. And we've seen a lot of stuff, so things can't be so uh, shitty. Yeah, we've seen I was watching everything. I saw someone had a thing for a speed buggy. Remember that cartoon, Speed Buggy? No, I don't. It was like a it was like a cartoon when we were kids. Speed buggy. Speed I buggy. I can remember. Yeah. And it had the guy with the goggles, and they would do this little theme song, and it would go, "It's Speed Buggy." Look at this. Right, and they'd go, "Speed Buggy," and then Speed Buggy goes, "That's me." <laughs> Wait a minute. Does that have anything to do with Scooby Doo, or are they just thieves? Probably the same. Those people look exactly mm -hmm. like the Scooby Doo people. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that's that's Scooby Doo instead of the yeah. car is Scooby Doo. Yeah, that's Shaggy. Yeah, the redheaded guy. <laughs> yep. And those that's uh, the other two people that were always hanging out with Scooby Doo, right? The yeah. jock and the cheerleader. We're in the same clothes. Yeah, look, that's Shaggy. And they fight crimes, and they find out who the bad guys are. Oh, the gorilla almost gets it. Like, see that guy in the back? That's the jock, and the girl in the front. <laughs> yep. That's like Veronica. It was so simple. Like, well, you was, couldn't make this now. How about Gilligan's Island? Speed buggy. That's oh. me. <laughs> Could you make Gilligan's Island without people banging? Uh, Who the fuck would believe that show? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me the only one that's banging is Thurston uh, Howell and his wife? Yeah. They're the only ones who are banging. They're the only ones who are married. Lovey. Nobody else is even kissing. 
<laughs> Nobody. That's okay. right. <laughs> the sailor, the fucking, the skipper and Gilligan, don't they have bunk beds? They they have uh, bunk hammocks. Yeah. Is that the most obvious gay couple <laughs> ever? Get and over they, here, little buddy. Look at this. Look at that. And you, you have two fucking smoking hot girls. And then there's the two camps. Like, which yeah. camp are you? You camp Ginger or you camp Marianne? Right. I like a regular girl. Like, I could take fishing. Like I'm the girl next Marianne door. Type. Yeah, she looks sexy from Italy. I want Italy. a girl that looks good on the red carpet. I'm more a ginger type. I, I'd rather live in Beverly Hills with <laughs> and ginger. The and the professor was like the intelligent one, and he wasn't that yeah. smart. <laughs> well, he didn't get to bang either. Nobody got to bang. Nobody banged. The professor wasn't intelligent? Not really. It really? was like 70s science intelligence. Uh, what did they know back then? Right now, he's like, look, I found a bird. You can tell by its wings. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, he's not concerned that stupid bird just lets him hold it. Yeah. Like, but birds are prey. Like they get eaten constantly. Does that bird have any instincts? If you eat it, it's probably poisoned. This was a hit. Yeah, oh, this now was he's got, a hit. A he's, runaway hit. He's rehabbing this bird. I think, if Man. I remember correctly, Gilligan's Island was on for far less time than we think it oh, was. Oh, really? Yeah, I, don't I believe it, that. I don't. I don't really think it did a few seasons. Let's see. How many seasons, if you had guess? I loved it when I was a child. Were we seeing it in reruns? Yeah, for, yeah, for if, sure. Yeah. 67. 64 oh, yeah. to 67. See? It's only a three-year uh, show. Three years. How many episodes? 30 episodes? That's crazy. I guess it's four years if they did a full season for each year. That is pretty short. That's crazy. How many episodes? What does it say? I'm trying to find out. It might have been 30 per season. Really? That's a lot. That's a lot. Of yeah. That's a lot of storylines. That's unusual. <laughs> That's yeah, a usually, lot of storylines. Usually it's 22, because you would get 13, that would be your big order, and then you would get the back nine. This was olden times. Well, this is real olden times, where they didn't get paid. So Gilligan right. and Skipper and everybody, they got fucked. So yeah. They played these things. They're playing them somewhere now, so whoever owns them, they own it forever. And you don't get, uh, you don't get residuals. Wow. Poor Gilligan. They paved the way, though. A lot of shitty shows, but they still make like goofy shows. You know what's so interesting? Like all the kids shows that the kids get raised on, like these Disney shows and stuff, they're as goofy as all this stuff in the 70s. <laughs>